Virgo, what is the word, baby? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again one more time for the remix just to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for mid-month May the 15th through the 31st. Shout out to everyone who's clicked this video. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. What's up to all my new followers, my new subscribers? Thank you so much for clicking that subscribe button. If there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Red Tarot, all you got to do is tippy tap over to that about page. And the only thing you need to do is book and then link up with me. Again, book and then link. So you click that hyperlink that says Scorpion Red Tarot as simply book me. Again, it says Scorpion Red Tarot as simply book me. You select the type of reading that you want and then you double back and link up with me. You'll see an Instagram link right under that booking link click that send me a personal message and say hey this is so and so I book with you on this date and time and we will connect right back there for your video chat if you don't have an Instagram or prefer not to use your Instagram you can download an app called Google Hangouts all right and use my email which is scorpion reds at gmail and then we could connect there all right and if you don't want to keep the app you could easily delete it right afterwards um if you would like a video recap there is a add-on option for a video recap of our session where I can record it and upload a private link to YouTube so you can watch it back if you want to you know remember the experience or just you know want to go back and look back at the personal message there's a ten dollar add-on uh, where you can purchase the um, video recap and you can also use that if you don't want to get on camera with me if you just want me to just upload a private um, upload to YouTube that you have access to and you want to send me your question you can do that as well just keep in mind only send me your question do not tell me the situation surrounding the question only send me what you want to know because I don't want you to say I just told you that okay so if you want a private direct upload instead of a video chat book your read add that add-on and then choose your platform have it be Google Hangouts or um, Instagram let me know what you want to know and then I will send the link back there and you'll be good to go okay if there's anyone who would like to send love and support to the page I want to give a shout out to my girl um, Callie she used my Amazon wish list and she purchased this deck for us so we will be using that today for our spirit number so shout out to my baby girl Callie and she also just purchased through the um, wish list a Game of Thrones tarot deck. So shout out to my girl Callie because is she she must love Game of Thrones just like I do. And I was over her excited when she told me that that was coming this way. So thank you so much, Callie. Everyone, make sure that y'all send love and shout outs to Callie, especially all my Game of Thrones um, fans and lovers. Because when y'all see that deck hit this table, y'all just make sure that y'all send shout out to Callie because I cannot wait till Aria come out on this table, honey. I am too excited. So if there's anyone that wants to send love um, to the page, just you know, just to, if you want to send a dollar or two to the um, PayPal, the PayPal and the Amazon um, link is in the description and in the about tab and shout out to everyone who's been sending a few dollars through paypal because of y'all y'all made it possible for these tea for this tea leaf deck and i know that y'all love the tea spread um when i do that on an off week so shout out to everyone that's been sending love and support to the page i've been helping the page grow and put new love and light so that everyone can have a more enjoyable experience here when we do these readings so i thank you guys so much for the love let me take a quick sip hold on All right, so let's get into the reading, Virgo. Thank you guys so much for bringing us here for the sign of Virgo. Thank you so much for all of the love, light, the prosperity, and joy, and happiness that you've been bringing into our life, Father God. You have been helping us move mountains through this transition, and Father God, we got our head up and our chest out. You know, we just are very happy and just proud of ourselves right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just uh, taking that inhale, just receiving blessings right now in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father God, please continue to give us guidance. And we thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance, excuse me, for mid-month, um, May 15th through the 31st for the sign of Virgo and again thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons so thank you for holding our hand and walking us through these transitions Father God we really appreciate all of the love that you've been giving us throughout our life we appreciate you Father God and I thank you so much for all of the movements that you've been how you've been moving through our life Father God give us guidance all right 
Let's do this. Virgo, what is the word? Let's see what the word is for you guys. What is the spirit number for Virgo for mid-month, May 15th through the 31st for my Virgos? Give me guidance for Virgo. Give me guidance. What is their spirit number for mid-May? Thank you so much. We got pride and we got self-discipline. All right. All righty. So right here we got pride and self-discipline. So right here with this pride, you see the crown chakra and then the root chakra right here. Okay. So it's basically you coming to some understanding in regards to, um, personal healings and, and great losses. I feel like you guys might have possibly, you know, lost something recently where it just activated your root chakra, you know, you feeling like you got to get yourself grounded. You got to make sure that you have a certain strong foundation and, you know, level of protection around you. And um, I feel like you're a lot more aware of what it is that you need to do. So it's like understanding mentally using your crown chakra just come to understanding of what you need to do to get yourself rooted and i just feel like right now it's not a sense of pride in a bad way it's a just a sense of pride of regardless of what comes to go in my life i understand that the the true lesson is to get me grounded and rooted and you know and certain things is like maybe you're, you're not bending to because you do have your pride you know what I'm saying? Like you got to understand uh, your pride and intuition. And sometimes when you have anxieties and things like that, that's your body speaking to you to let you know that something is wrong or to protect yourself. So I feel like whatever it was that you lost, you felt like you had to stand up and you had to protect yourself. And I feel like you understand that and you have your pride and then we're going to roll it to self-discipline. That is big root chakra right here. And heart chakra. You know? Self-discipline. I feel like whatever it was, you still grounded yourself enough to know that you had to protect matters of your heart in a situation. And you could have easily been tempted to act a different way, but you did have self-discipline. And you did the best thing for you. You know what I'm saying? For you and your heart. Because you do have your pride. And I don't think that you just was going to fall and just deal with anything and accept anything. So that took a lot of self-discipline. And, you know, you, I feel like you, I, whatever happened, you had to protect yourself. You had to protect yourself. But I feel like you could have really reacted and responded in a way that... You know, could have, it could have went different, but I feel like you still had your pride and you respected yourself enough to be disciplined and go about it in a gentleman or in a womanly way. Carried yourself like a true queen and you didn't lower yourself regardless of the situation, if, if that makes sense. You see what I'm saying? So shout out to you guys for having self-discipline <laughs> for real. Give me guidance for the Virgos, mid-May, 15th through the 31st. Give me guidance for my Virgos. Yeah, you guys walked away from a conflict. You said, you know what, because I could whoop your ass right now. I'm not going to. I'm just going to let you live. <laughs> I'm going to let you live because I got, I got better offers. I got better, more solid foundations in the future. And I'm not about to sit here and lower myself. And embarrass myself sitting up here fighting and arguing with you guys uh-huh because I feel like someone um I feel like you guys were dealing with someone who was talking to you in a way that was very immature I feel like it was a lot of immature communication and you cut that shit right the fuck on out it was like what uh-uh Especially not when you just got a brand new offer. You got a communication for a brand new offer for something else. She was like, bitch, no. I wish I would. I wish the fuck I would. <laughs> yes. Yes. You, you, listen. You, 
I feel like you most definitely, you didn't back down. You didn't back down at all. But I feel like you were very clear and decisive and very matter of fact about what it was that you were communicating to them. That you was not the one to, to play with. You could have very much so went here with that. And this is like you getting physical with someone. So I feel like right here it was a verbal physical altercation. And I feel like you had some self-discipline and you walked away before you got yourself. You could have got yourself in jail. <laughs> but whatever you did, I feel like you verbally slayed someone. And you went on about your business. Because you had a better offer somewhere. And I felt like whatever... This offer was that was given to you from, I feel like whatever it was, you really didn't even see it coming because you see this source of this offer is like something new, unique. I don't think that you really thought that you would get it or someone would, uh, you know, it's just, it's just something different. Like I feel like it came left field. You feel what I'm saying? And it was like, I'm not about to sit here and ruin my chances at a brand new beginning elsewhere, you know, and that beetle represents good luck. You know what I'm saying? That was just like good luck is coming to me and y'all immature. And I was already looking. Like this is someone that was already looking for other opportunities. And you got that opportunity right in the nick of time because you had to check somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like y'all knew that that shit was coming. I feel like y'all knew that that shit was coming. Yeah. You snuffed the fuck up out of that situation. You got out of that shit right in the nick of time. <laughs> you slayed that motherfucker and snuck your ass out of there right in the nick of time and shit like that and you're in a you're in a you're in a better predicament now where you're able to give without worry you're able to give without worry like do you see this you're able to give without fret without worry and you still got enough money to take care of yourself and you don't mind it's like you don't, <laughs> you don't, like this had to do, I think, with a job or work situation or, um, I'm not necessarily seeing that this has to do with, I feel like this is a work situation, you guys. This was a work situation. It was a lot of conflict at work. It was a lot of drama the fuck at work and you was about to jump up here and knock everybody the fuck out like, you was about to be like bitch y'all don't even know who y'all fucking with for real okay i got a triple black belt and i'm a street fight nigga i will mind <laughs> <laughs> bitch you guessed it but you know what i'm just gonna let y'all live for real for real because i listen I just, I was already listen i was already looking and putting my shit out there for another job anyway so it don't even matter and I already got an offer somewhere else. So, like, I'm not even, I dead ass not even tripping on you. But, like, for real, for real, I will whoop your ass coming out the door. If you really want to act stupid. But you know what? <laughs> I got my pride, okay? I'm not about to put, risk myself to go to jail. I'm just going to cuss you out and dip out. So, this is somebody that possibly didn't even give nobody no two weeks notice or nothing at their job. You just, like, cussed them out and you slid. <laughs> You cussed them out and you slid <laughs> right out the door. Like, what? Who oh, the fuck y'all think y'all talking to? Y'all got me all the way fucked up in this motherfucker, okay? I feel like you might... <laughs> Bitch. Oh, my goodness. You guys was like, uh-uh. Playing with my money is like playing with my fucking emotions. <laughs> okay? And all this drama up in this goddamn office is playing with my emotions because y'all fucking with my money. Because anytime I feel like I might want to reach up and crack a bitch. Okay? We got issues, honey. Get... What is this? Yes. Working too hard and back off. All right? So listen, this is the thing. You were in a predicament in a situation. I'm trying to tell you this had something to do with work. All right, so this is the angel of time. I felt like you were working too hard. And a lot of the conflict had to do with possibly you doing the majority of the work and everybody not working as hard as you doing and having a lot to say. Do you feel what I'm saying? And you was just like, uh-uh, the time is up. Like, I'm working too hard. And then the voodoo in blue. 
back off. And it's, it, you know, <laughs> with this coming out in the reverse, I feel like you guys were tired of working too hard. And you were tired of people always. It could have been people that were merely jealous of you. Jealous of how much time and how much work you put in. And they caused a lot of bullshit for you at your job. And you told the motherfuckers, listen, you better back the fuck off. Your time is up. I'm not busting my ass in this motherfucker like that no more. Y'all better back the fuck off. For y'all get smacked the fuck off on God. <laughs> okay? Pull up on that demon on God. Look, <laughs> that's exactly what y'all did. Listen, you see how you jumped up in there, pulled up on them demons on guard, looking like I'm still doing fraud. Okay? <laughs> it was like, am I going to have to smack a bitch? Okay? That was, listen, that was Jesus <laughs> that lifted you up that high. You said, Krrrra! okay? Smacked every last one of them with one goddamn, <laughs> excuse me, with one goddamn thing. One goddamn uh hit. Hit every last one of them. Okay? Okay? Bitch. He was like, listen. You told them motherfuckers to back up. But I feel like you told them anyway. Like, you could have got physical with them, but you did not. But you you really, really wanted to. That's what I am kidding. But you telling them hoes to back the fuck up. Like, seriously, look. Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. <laughs> because I'm thinking about making love to you. Oh, yeah. Baby, turn the music up. Hold on, why can't turn? <laughs> Champagne, baby, I'm a D U F. Oh, nice. No, no. Let's get some additional guidance on this here. Just gonna bring your man. Give me. Oh. What was that? The king of coins in the reverse, but it flipped back in it, so I'm not going to say that. The queen of wands. This a weird looking queen of wands. Never seen no queen of wands look like that. Queen of wands, ten of cups, okay. Queen of wands, y'all could possibly be dating a, um, an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Oh, here go that seven of swords in reverse. What are y'all, what is going on with all of these seven of swords? If you got a happy home, then what the hell are you seven of swords in for? The knight of coins in reverse. Okay, so you went from the king of, king of coins in reverse to the knight of coins in reverse. What do you have? Uh -huh. Like, what is this? I'm feeling like there's some. When I seen the world, it was upright, but I guess. All right, so this is what I'm getting here. I feel like there's a Queen of Wands that's dealing with a Virgo. And it's a happy home environment and everything. But I feel like this person has been very sneaky and manipulative. Been very sneaky and manipulative. And possibly with that knight of coins in reverse. It's like really on some con shit. Like I feel like this person might be using their beauty and their sexual... Like, they're using, like, their beauty and sex and the manipulation that this is a happy home environment. But honestly, I feel like they're robbing you blind. It's like a con or something like that. In this world in the reverse, I feel like you're trying to... You know, I feel like you're trying to sneak away from this person, too. I feel like you're trying to end the chapter with this person, too. But I feel like it, it does feel like it's somewhat fulfilling for you. 
give me some additional guidance on this because do you see what I'm seeing? Like, okay, Queen of Wands. And this lady looks a little older. I don't know why she looks old in this one. But it seems like it's a happy home environment. But for some reason, there's someone sneaking around and being manipulative and conning and getting away with something. Because you see this knight of coins in reverse here. That's a con. That's someone that's not really offering something. That's someone that's not really putting work in to make something grow and be prosperous the way you know it's like all right the night of the night of the night of pinnacles already moves slow as shit anyway but it's just like this motherfucker really didn't have no intentions of offering anything and it's like the whole i feel like this person gets away with pulling this con off on people or something like that and back at it hey in the kitchen mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, like, I feel like this person came through and kind of, like, turned your world upside down. And you trying to, oh, my God, back at it again, back at it. And I feel like that's another thing where your pride and your self-discipline is, is having to come into play, too. Because I feel like no matter how beautiful and how fiery and spicy the relationship is, and y'all do have a good home environment, and I feel like this is, you do feel emotionally fulfilled, but I feel like some, like, evidence, this, 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 like, this, this, ooh, give me guidance. Give me guidance on this Queen of Wands, please. Give me guidance on this Queen of Wands. Distant Horizons. Distant Horizons. What is this? Judication. Yeah, you're going to have to make a decision about this person soon. Messages of concern. I feel like you 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 see it's something that causes concern because like I said that seven of swords is something back at it again back at it ow message message like what what's up with all of these messages expectations expectations. gift gift expectation so i feel like yeah y'all feel like this woman like you you like i feel like you might have seen some text messages or, or something like that where you where it was like what is this occupation yeah like this person expects you to give to them like it's your occupation or something like you a fucking trick or some shit like that yeah that's yeah that's what I'm getting. It's like, and that's another thing where you having to, where this self discipline and this pride comes into play because it's like you got to be grounded in regards to matters of your heart. You have someone as beautiful as she is, and I feel like you really do want to have a happy home environment with this person. This motherfucker is a con artist. This person is a scammer. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person is only fucking with you for money, and ever since. This person came into your life. I feel like your world has been upside down. And you feel like the only thing that you've been doing is giving and giving and giving. And you trying to sneak away from this person too. And like give them a piece of your mind while you at it. Because it's like you not stupid. You not stupid. Like don't come at me with this weird ass shit. Expecting me to always give to you and all of that shit like that. Look, I've been looking through your shit. Because something made me feel like I needed to... Do some investigation, bitch. And I seen that your ass was out there starting a new beginning with someone else. And you was really only fucking with me for the coin. So, bitch, what the fuck is the point of me going through all this competition and be like, you think I'm about to be sent up there? No. And not only that, I heard about the shit that you've been saying. Them, like, people been telling me. It's been gossip and rumors that you just really, like, this is what you do. That you just fuck with, you just fuck with people. You know what I'm saying? To make solid advances in life for yourself. Like, no. Like, bitch, you thought I wasn't going to find out, huh? You thought I wasn't going to find out that you over there talking to that little sugar daddy ass nigga? Yeah. I found out that this you fucking with someone else that's giving you money. Yeah. You thought I wasn't going to find out about that shit? Yeah, bitch, I'm cutting your dumb ass out to your fucking hoe. You thought she was not going to get caught? Bitch, you got caught, so I don't know what the fuck you was thinking about, but whatever the fuck it is that you think that you was about to take... You can take that shit right the fuck out your bag and leave it right there, bitch. You're not taking shit. So, um, mm-hmm. You better go find somebody else to give to you. 
Cause I'm not I'm not about to do it. Self discipline. Someone had to really tell somebody, look, your time is up. I've been working too hard. Give it to you. You ain't giving me the same in, in, in return. And you over here on some old goddamn voodoo hoodoo shit. Bitch, no. Back off. You need to get the fuck out of here. Like, not voodoo hoodoo in the literal terms. I mean, shit, maybe. But I'm just saying, like, they, they feel like this person tried to use their beauty. You know what I'm saying? Their beauty and their sex. As you you see what I'm saying? As it is being a hip a hypnotizer. You know what I'm saying? Like their sex and their beauty is hypnotic and it made them want this happy family environment so bad that they couldn't see that they were being conned and manipulated. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like and you know how Virgo is a Virgo is a very loving and kind given of person. They will give the world to you. They really will give you their world. But it's like, don't, don't fucking play with me. You know what I'm saying? Because you had some other shit popping off in the distant horizon. I found out about that shit. So, you know, at the end of the day, I had to make judgment on you. Because I found out about you and this other person, bitch. No. You thought I wasn't going to find out how? You thought I wasn't going to find out how? Yeah. Someone sent me information and told me about what the fuck you was doing. And guess what? I did go and look at what you was doing. You thought that that shit was hidden in like a uh, in, in in your inbox, and I wasn't. You you thought putting one of your girlfriend's names or one of your dudes' names on a text message thread that I wasn't going to think. My intuition told me to check that inbox, and I seen those messages, bitch. Yes. Okay. For well, a matter of fact, someone that you know messaged me and said, "Yeah, do you know that so and so was fucking with Demetrius?" No, I didn't know that. You talking about Demetrius, Demetrius? Yeah, Demetrius, Demetrius. You better check that bitch phone. Shit. For a matter of fact, go in there and just check everything. It don't even matter if it's safe. It's a girl or a boy name. Just go in there and check all of that shit. Anything that look funny, just read all of that shit. And that's exactly what the fuck Virgo did. And then, like, look. Someone is like, listen, you might need to, um, to... Judge your situation with shorty a little bit harder because Slim might got something going, might be trying to get their hooks in some something somewhere else. Okay? And if you haven't found out about this, you might possibly distant horizon. That means that like time wise, that means this is something that's probably going to happen within the next week to four weeks. Expectation. This person expected you to give to them as if it was an occupation. You see what I'm saying? To constantly give to them. Like it was your job to give to them. And they were over doing whatever the fuck that they wanted to do. And they thought that they was going to get away with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like no. No, 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 no. I'm not nobody's motherfucking sugar daddy. Or I'm not nobody's goddamn sugar mama. Or nothing like that. And one thing for sure, for sure. I feel like your friends and your family definitely seen how this person was. You know, constantly... Wanting you to give to them, give, 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 give to them and all of this shit like that. And they felt, they felt this energy on this person. Like, they was like, uh-uh, this bitch not about to keep coming back and forth, coming back and forth into your life. And keep taking, taking, taking and sneaking off and taking, taking, taking on. Mm -mm. And this could even be one of your family or friends that might have, that might have, you know. Don't be surprised if one of your family and friends like check this person too. Like, I'm dead ass about that. Because, like, somebody is like, uh-uh. Someone's trying to put some, like, hocus pocus, some voodoo hoodoo. I don't know why you all hypnotized by this blue-haired bitch. But I'm about to let you know. I'm about to tell this bitch to back the fuck off. So, it, it could possibly be one of y'all sisters or something like that. I could see one of y'all sisters most definitely feeling like they coming through within the next two or three weeks, they probably telling you, like, bitch, you got about, I'm going to give you about a month. I'm about to give you the next, what, two to three weeks or some shit like that? Four at max? To let this person know about the messages that you found? I'm expecting you to send that gift and let this motherfucker know what's up because this is not your job to take care of this motherfucker. I don't give a fuck how cute this bitch is. Like, no, this motherfucker's a snake. This person is a con artist. This person is a scammer. And ever since this person came into your life, it has been nothing but chaos and goddamn drama. Bitch, no, we will not be doing that shit today. Now when you got, uh-uh, for a matter of fact, I'm about to hook you up with somebody else. So, actually, you know what I'm saying? That, um, that, uh, that, 
that page of pentacles could possibly you getting a message from your sister or your cousin or somebody saying look i'm about to hook you up with somebody else i got somebody might be a little bit different because you seen it was like a little small man might be a little bit different than what you used to but i'm trying to tell you like this this one is a good guy you know what i'm saying because you guys are most definitely walking away from your union because you don't feel like it's growing it's growing mm -mm. your sister or whoever this is this like no bitch Mm-mm. Yeah. Cause you're numb. Like I feel like you're numb. You don't you don't even have any feelings. You don't even have any feelings in regards to this love situation. And what does it say? And then there's no compromising with this person. Like this person wants what they want and they want what they want. And but yet there's some level of fear about letting go of this situation. Why? What the hell is going on with that? Oh, like there's no compromise and you got a fear of settling. You have a fear of settling. It's a yeah, 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 yeah. You really don't want to be in this union. Like you know it's not going nowhere, but it's just like you just got this fear that you just sitting there settling. And you are sitting there settling. Don't sit there and settle, you know? Do not sit there and settle. Give me some guidance. Do not sit there and settle at all. You have your pride and your dignity. And you got to be self-disciplined. If you know that this person is taking advantage of you. And to. What is that? It's the four pentacles. Yeah. This is. Listen. You, it's, this is someone feeling like. You the magician. And that you could just. Use your powers. Or your charm. Or, or work work on it. And just you want to hold on to this for dear life. You know what I'm saying? And. Also with this magician. And like I feel like this person. I feel like I'm seeing that both ways. I'm seeing that for you. And the person that you're dealing with. I'm seeing that. You feel like you can magically. Hold on to the situation. And make it better. And that's why you're holding on. And then I also feel like the person that you're dealing with is holding, you know, is holding itself back and is holding on to some secrets. You see what I'm saying? And it's not as giving and it's not as sharing as you are. And they're most definitely holding some secrets here. And they're the magician as well. You're you you're the magician in this card where you think that you can magically make some shit better. And then they are being the magician where they know that they can manipulate you by holding back and holding off on giving certain things to you. Like the more and more that they hold back on giving certain things to you, the more that you're going to give trying to hold on. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they know that you are completely hung up and it's like... You, it's like, it's like you put yourself up there and you're, it's like you are settling, you know? You are settling. It's like you're settling and you're just chilling in this situation and this person knows that you're not going anywhere. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they go to the goddamn devil card. Mm -hmm. They know that you are attached and you are addicted to them. They know it. You know what I'm saying? They know that they got you wrapped up in their web. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you see this maze behind this magician? Like, that's what they're holding back from you. Like, maybe they are doing some goddamn hocus pocus or some bullshit like that. With the magician, like a wizard sitting up there with the four coins. Like, they're holding back, they're hiding something from you. Like, I feel like they're hiding. Like, and I don't necessarily think that they're doing any type of magic or anything like that. I just literally think that they got you sitting up here thinking that they're working on something and they're really not. You see what I'm saying? Like, they're sitting up there playing with you or they could possibly be using a child as a reason to manipulate you to feel like you got to continue to give to them and they're going to work on things and things are going to be okay and everything like that and we got this child to take care of and blah 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 but these are fictitious pinnacles this person is faking like they're working on something do you see what i'm saying these are real pinnacles this is imaginary do you see what I'm saying? So it's like this person is literally keeping you hung up. Yeah. Yeah. 
This is the seven. This is the seven of wands again. This is seven of wands. This is in reverse. They feel like they've defeated. They feel like they've defeated all oppositions. Any like I feel like this person really does feel like they got you hung up on them. They're holding back the true reason why they're with you. And it really is because there is some type of financial gain that they're getting there. They know that they got you hung up. They're faking like they're working on something and they're really not. And they feel like they've defeated everyone that's even tried to come and interfere with what they're doing here. Like, they feel like they got you like shit. Do you see... They have you hung up, baby. Listen. Wait, let me see. Okay. Okay. They're holding back something with that wizard energy. Okay? They know that they got you hung up. They got you addicted and trapped and bound into their sexual... You know what I'm saying? It's like a sexual thing. And they're faking like they're working on something, but really they're not. And look how mischievous that little boy's face is. Like, he ain't really learning nothing. He's not learning nothing that Spirit is trying to teach him. They're faking like they're, they're working together. They're working on something. And it because they feel like they have everyone that could, anyone that could come up against them, they, they feel like they got them defeated because they got their hooks on you and they got you hung up and that you're not going anywhere and that you're just going to sit there and that you're going to settle. And that for some reason that you have some fear of getting down off of this um, hangman thing. Like you got a fear of getting down and leaving them for some reason. It's possibly because of money. It's possibly because of money. I mean, you need to like grab your balls on that shit. Because whoever the fuck this is. Like they're a jackass. And they have a, they, their, their whole mentality about how they meet you and... Like, that's just crazy. And it's like, you really don't want to be there. You really don't want to be there. And I feel like y'all know that this person has an affair. I mean, the devil is right there. I mean, that's like a full-blown ass goddamn. And someone like, yeah. Like, their attentions was never good. Period. Like, you, you, feel, you feel what I'm saying? Like, their whole thing was that they seen you. And I feel like they knew that they could get you good or something like that. Ooh, 666 popped out, baby. It says, raise your vibration. Choose peace and harmony in your thoughts and with others. I feel like, honestly, like, this is trying to tell you to raise your vibration. Like, you are really dealing with some, like, really low-grade, like, scum bucket, scoundrel-ass people. And you need to raise your vibration and choose peace and harmony over everything. Don't let nobody have you feeling trapped and bound where you're settling. And it's like, you don't want to be in this union because you know it's not going nowhere. And you're fucking numb. And you're finding all of these messages and things like that. And you know that this person is like manipulating you and trying to get over you. Then what the, I mean, like, come on. It's that time is up. Indestructible. Like, for some reason, it's like. Uh, clarify this. Okay, so you, you feel, okay, good, 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 good. You are self-aware and you do feel indestructible and you do feel like your spirit is being elevated here with this violet. It says intuitive, spiritual, self-aware, all right? And mentally in your fiber and your bones, you know that you're indestructible and I feel like you are going to continue to carry on, Virgo. Come on now, Virgo. Come on and come through. Come on and let's kick some ass these last spreads, baby. Let's kick some ass because I don't like these motherfuckers. But it says 999. Look, turn that nine, that 666 to a 999 on them bitches. It says profound lessons at hand. A completion of a cycle is near. So like I said, this person tried to come in. Not only your job, but this person in your life. They tried to like kind of turn your whole world upside down. And you felt like it was like an on and on and on and on and on and on and thing. Ooh, morning. I feel like. There's been ashes to ashes, dust to dust. There's most definitely been an ending. And I feel like you will be mourning this situation. But at the end of the day, like the sun is shining. You have other options. Like clearly, it's up there biggest day. Like especially in jobs. And, ooh, and then just what just came out. I feel like, Virgo, you've made a promise to yourself. 
that you were going to move forward and find serenity, tranquility, and peace in your life and new beginnings. You made that promise to yourself because you know that you're better than that. And it's like even though, even though you're mourning the situation, you know that profound lessons were at hand and that the certain situations where people had to end. And that's why you had to you had to kill shit off because this motherfucker really thought that they were going to try to keep you trapped and bound to their bullshit. And you wasn't. And you said I, my intuition and my spirituality and my self-awareness told me, listen, no matter what nobody tries to do, do to you, they're going to do it to they self because you're indestructible. So all of that negative energy and shit like that, you reverse that shit right on back to them and you kept on moving and shit like that. Because at the end of the day, you had to raise your fucking vibrations, okay? And you chose peace and harmony, I told you, in your thoughts and in your minds. And I feel like you really, really, in your, in your, in your body, in your fiber... You knew what the fuck this person was trying to do. You know that the control that they were trying to have over you. And you you self-disciplining your pride wouldn't let you kneel to that bullshit no more. You knew that. And, and if you didn't know that, you know that now. And I'm trying to tell you with that distant horizon. In about a week to about four weeks. You about to... Shit. Somebody gonna learn today. Somebody gonna learn today. Not even that, just that. I really do on a high level feel like a family or friend is the one who's going to send you some information. Like, bitch, check this motherfucker's goddamn messages or check this person's inbox or something. They're sending you a You're going to receive a message of concern that's going to make you go look for messages. And you're going to find what you're going to need to find. Give me guidance, Virgo. Uh-huh. Nine of Swords. You ain't... I feel like this shit has been a complete fucking nightmare to you. And you have completely released it mentally. This shit was numbing to you. It's like you didn't even feel anything. So it was like, if I don't even feel anything, what the fuck am I still fucking with you for? And I'm definitely not about to be sitting up here worrying about who the fuck you fucking bitch. Get the hell on out my house. What is this? Knight of Swords. You took control of that situation. You don't even give a fuck about who's seen it. So it don't matter. That shit could have happened on the internet. It could have happened at your job. It don't matter. You grab motherfuckers by the back of their head and you say, look, bitch, this what the fuck going down. You got about a week to get your shit the fuck up out of my house. And it's just straight like that. Okay? So, like, to, I don't know what the fuck you thought this is, but I'm about to tell you what is about to happen. All right? I don't know what you thought. You Listen, I don't love you no more. I don't have any emotions for you anymore. So... You don't love me, I don't love you. So why are we playing? What the fuck are we sitting up here playing with each other for? Like wasting time and shit like that. And you like, I feel like I'm a, I'm embarrassed almost by even sitting up here and keep fucking with you and shit like that. Because at the end of the day, I look like a fool for sitting up here settling with you and, and you're beneath me. And that's not to be, that's not to be disrespectful. But, you know, let, let me keep that shit 100. I made a promise to myself. I made a promise to myself. To find peace, tranquility, and serenity. And to honor myself. I made a promise to myself. And this is a man saying this as well. This is a man and a woman saying this as well. Just Virgo, period. Because at the at the end of the day, with this five of wands, they got tired of competing and keep dealing with all of this bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not competing for you. You ain't nothing to compete for. And yeah, my friend did shine a light on that shit for me. And I seen everything that I needed to see. And guess what? You sitting up here fucking around with people that don't even look half as good as me. So at the end of the day, you can roll in the mud with them motherfuckers. I don't got it to do. Bitch, you thought you was going to get away with that shit forever? You do? You you probably should feel ashamed of yourself. Yeah. You thought you was about to keep mentally manipulating me, playing all these games on me? I completely turned my back on you. You are fucking pathetic. You are pathetic. Eight of Swords. Listen. Listen to me. See that devil lurking around in the back? This motherfucker knew exactly what they were doing this whole time. Using their sex to keep you trapped and to keep you bound. And to keep you in prison into their bullshit. And um, t Virgo said, not today. Queen of Swords, I will cut you out and I will leave you right where the fuck you stand. Off with your head. Off with your head. And not only that, but this Virgo man is saying to this, um, what, this Gemini, Libra, or um, Aquarius woman... 
I feel like you are, I mean, you're just a fucking liar. You're a liar. You're a whore. You don't have no heart. You're cold. You barely show emotions. You're manipulative. You're fucking evil. Like, you're a fucking evil ass bitch. You're always arguing. You're always unhappy. There's always something wrong. Like, you probably need to go and seek counsel because you wake up being a miserable bitch. Like, ain't nobody even do nothing to you. You wake up mad. And you're a fucking cheater. And you're a liar. And I found out everything that you were doing, bitch. And you ain't about to sit here and keep manipulating me. And you don't even look that good to be sent. You're not, you know, you're not, you're not even that attractive. And the people that you cheating on me with is not even that attractive, bitch. Please listen. All right. Go ahead and and and, and wait. And 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 go and fuck with them niggas that you think is about to really give you something. They ain't giving you shit. By the time they give you shit, you be old, dead, and goddamn decrepit and shit. So you go ahead and keep wishing on that shit. I'm gonna let you go ahead and keep taking them offers for them fuck niggas. That shit is cool for me. Cause guess what? I'm happy with or without you, bitch. With or without you. And actually without you, I'm a little bit more happy. I feel more carefree. I feel like a born again goddamn child, bitch. You are an idiot. Hmm. Five of Swords. Yeah. So I'm just going to sit up here and I'm going to be mature and I'm going to gracefully bow out. Because, you know, this is a lose lose fight with you, regardless of how we go. And you know what? You can try to get all violent and do all that little dumb ass shit that you want. And this time I will smack the shit out of you. So you can motherfucking play with me if you want to, bitch. You can keep pulling your panties down and think I give a fuck about it. Your pussy ain't that good, okay? And put your hands on me one more time. I will smack the whole fucking shit out of you. And I will call my baby mother. Yeah, the baby mother that you intimidated by. The baby mother that you jealous. And you be it. I will call my crazy ass baby mother. She don't like you anyway. And I will have her beat your motherfucking ass. After I smack the shit out of you. And then I'm going to call my fucking cousins and my sisters to come down here from motherfucking New York. Or to come down here from fucking Atlanta. And I'm going to have them whoop your ass too. Because I'm tired of playing with you. Okay? Now run tell that shit. Run tell that shit. Alright? So Virgo, that's how we gonna leave that shit out here. Run tell that shit. Run tell that shit. Run tell that. Because the one thing about people is they think that other people don't care about them and that they want to continue to let other people manipulate them and use them and take advantage of them. They're not. Because this is someone that really cares about this Virgo that is tired of seeing this manipulation take place. They are tired of seeing this manipulation take place. And they told Virgo, they said, listen, bitch, you got, I'm going to give you about four weeks to stop sitting here being in fear, settling, okay? I'm going to, because this shit is childish. And I'm tired, you too wrong for this shit. And you don't even want to be with this person anyway. So why are you saying no, 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 no? This person, like you think, you think my cousin, you think my brother is about to have you just sitting back here. You think you're about to be sitting up here treating my motherfucking family like, oh, they work to take care of you, like it's their occupation to take care of you, and you out there treating them like shit, bitch. I will whoop your ass. They like listen. They got that message from their sister or from their cousin. They said, you don't see the shit this bitch doing on Facebook? You better let her, you listen, you better go through her shit. If you don't believe me, you better go through her shit and figure it out. I'm giving you a couple of weeks. You better make a decision. Because I'm telling you, I'm sliding the fuck through. I'm sliding through and I'll make the motherfucking decision myself. So either you going to let this bitch know or I'm going to let her know. And if the bitch won't get smacked up, I will go to jail. So I don't know who this family member is, but they said I'm coming soon. So you better, you better handle this shit. Listen, you better tell this bitch she ain't even that cute anyway. I don't know why you think she's so cute and why you see this happy home with this ugly ass bitch. This bitch ain't even that cute for you to be going through this shit. This bitch won't offer you nothing. This bitch is a fucking con artist. Listen, I'm coming soon. Because you know what? You about to end this chapter sooner than you think it is. Because this bitch that came in here and turned your whole fucking world upside down. Listen, I'm coming soon. I am coming soon. So you better send the word out. You better send the word out that the judge and juror is coming very soon. So you better tell your bitch she better pack her shit right now okay and she better go find her own motherfucking occupation bitch or find another nigga the motherfucker she expecting to get some gifts to because it's about to end right now run to that 
Now run to that. Now run to that. Now how you like them apples? Okay? Now how you like them apples? You better tell that bitch to back up. Or she gonna get smacked up. Her time up around this bitch. You don't work too motherfucking hard. I'd be damned if I'ma see my motherfucking family work their ass off. Bitch, I'm about to hook you up with someone else. And I'm coming soon. So you better tell that bitch she better be the fuck out your house. By the time I get there, I'm going motherfucker run my foot all the way up through her motherfucking ass. It's gonna come out through her motherfucking nose. So you better tell that bitch she better she better sneak out. She better sneak out quick. She better get whatever the fuck she gonna take and she better get it. And she better, she better hope that she don't take nothing that ain't hers. Because if I find out that the bitch took anything, and I mean anything, 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 I'm on that ass. And she gonna have to fight the whole motherfucker squad. So she better hope she got the anointment of Jesus to come up through her motherfucking ass. And she can jump up in the air like this. Because bitch, we gonna beat your ass. We out.